So this last one is kind of like a matching exercise almost. Um, so what we'll do is we want to look at each of these functions and then match them uh, to these options here. So A, B, C, D, E, and F um, are our six options. So which is the graph of f of x equals negative x cubed minus 6x squared um, minus 8x? Um, and again, this is all going to kind of hinge on um, the end behavior. So we're looking at the leading coefficient, which is negative. Um, and we're looking at the, um, the exponent, which is 3, so it's odd. So it's going to be um, rising um, to the left, and it's going to be falling to the right. Um, so we want to look at these graphs and say, do any of them rise uh, in the left and uh, fall in the right? Um, and, uh, and they do. Um, now... We have two of them that kind of do that, right? So A doesn't do that, D doesn't do that, E doesn't do that, C doesn't do that, but B and F both do that. So how do you determine which one is which? Um, so notice that we have an X in all of these terms. Um, so if we plugged 0 in for X, um, then we'd get 0 for F of X. So we want to look at a function that actually crosses through the origin. So when X is 0, Y is also 0. And that would only be function B. Uh, function F doesn't uh, do that at all. So we'll choose one. We're going to choose graph B, because that's the only one that matches. Um, which is the graph of G of X equals uh, 2 times X minus 1 cubed times X plus 2. Um, so again, we're going to look, here we have 3, and here we have basically 1, so this is a polynomial of degree 4. Um, then we have this 2, positive x, positive x, so 2x to the 4th is going to be our uh, leading term. Um, so our leading coefficient is positive, um, our degree is 4, so that means we're going to be going up um, both to the left and uh, to the right. So we look at our options here. Again, we've got two graphs, graph A and graph E, where we're going up both to the left and the right. So how do we narrow it down? Again, we're going to look, um, we're going to look at the y-intercept, basically. So if we plug 0 in here, okay, um, for both of these, we're going to have 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. Negative 1 cubed is still negative 1. Remember, when you're raising a negative number to an odd power, you preserve the sign. Um, so negative 1 times 2, okay, which is negative 2, um, and then 2 times negative 1 times 2, um, so that's going to be negative 2 times 2, or negative 4. So we want to take a look here, um, which one of these looks like it's at negative 4 when x is 0, and it's more likely graph A. So we'll choose graph A, and then we hit check. And there we go.